Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now in this podcast wannabe video, I'm going to share my summary of one of my favorite self-development book, which is The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F by Mark Manchin. You're going to listen to each summary of the chapters from the book. So starting from this video, I'm going to start with the summary of chapter one. Okay, so let us begin. Now, as you know, from the title, The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F is a psychological type of book that gives you a different, straightforward and no BS method to live a life which is not always happy and fulfilling. However, it gives you a more meaningful and self-centered way of only what's important to you and your surrounding. And by the way, the book packs a lot of F words. Okay, so be careful when you read this book. Now from this book, I found that there is one powerful quote, which is this. Who you are is divine by what you're willing to struggle for. Okay, let's start by chapter one, the summary. Now Mark mentioned the author begins his guide by stating that what individual people do wrong is irrationally focusing only on the positive by doing this we end up in a loop of reminding ourselves of what we lack now social media also plays a critical role in what is called the feedback loop from hell we are regularly bombed with visuals pictures videos on youtube instagram twitter Facebook and other social media which portrays the perfect life of others. At that time, we begin craving to achieve everything that we already have. To short circuit this destructive circle, we need to limit what we care about. It doesn't mean becoming a different person, but more about dividing our experiences into those which will matter in a few years and those which won't. Hence, we will be able to escape the horror of today's society that makes us desire to become someone who we are not. Eventually, more success arises from accepting who we are than fighting to become similar to someone who we idolize. Based on what Mark Manchin attempts to share with the readers, we can assume that the fact that the desire to have only positive experiences is considered a hostile pathway. It is mostly because during this crave, we only focus on the result of things and we skip the learning part that represents the ultimate goal. We tend to skip the process. The same thing applies when we care too much about unimportant things. Mark thinks that we ought to imagine that our worries are limited and we essentially need to sort everything based on their priority. Thus, by doing this, we will manage to avoid becoming another prey for the business industry that will try to feed us with all their products by convincing us that we are in desperate need of them. So that is the end of chapter one. I'll see you soon in chapter two. All right, see you soon.